local, Bobby. Right? Some scholar athletes applying for all this. I know they're doing everything. Mm -hmm. Just do one more thing. Get that award. <laughs> Madonna performing all of the hits to her biggest crowd ever. Where was it? Brazil. That is awesome. It's 65 years old. There is no slowing down for the Queen of Pop. Get this. She performed in front of an estimated 1.6 million fans. You heard that right. 1.6 million. This was last night. Madonna transformed Rio's Copacabana Beach. Uh, the pole beach into a massive dance floor is the last show for retrospective the celebration tour which kicked off last fall that's phenomenal right you know um that's i'm just at a loss 1.6 i don't think million. I understand yeah how yankee many... stadium holds 55,000 yes and like... the kentucky derby was three times that so 150,000 that's madonna that's not taylor swift madonna madonna <laughs> If you didn't know fashion's biggest night is tomorrow, well, now you know. The biggest celebrities will be turning heads on the red carpet at the Met Gala. And this year's theme is Sleeping Beauties Reawakening Fashion. See, ABC's Will Gans has more on what to expect. Reach out, touch face. Holy Rihanna, it's time for the Met Gala. The night fashion fans go gaga for, showcasing the most lively style and transportering looks of all time. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's talk Met Gala 2024. This year's theme, Sleeping Beauties, Reawakening Fashion. Archive and recreation, so think pajamas, think giant sleeping bags, think Sleeping Beauty herself. A floral fanfare, like Simona Tabasco's Marty dress from the Emmys or Kelsey Ballerini's Vera Wang vibe from Grammy Night. But technically, the dress code is the Garden of Time. Garden of Time, grandfather clock, hello. I also love the idea of somebody doing a head-to-toe claw clock, especially if those clocks are sourced secondhand. TikTok more in style than ever, as the app invites everyone to Fashion's Night Out. With live streams from the red carpet, virtual watch parties, and an in-app hashtag Met Gala hub. The IRL Gala is hosted, of course, by Anna Wintour. And this year's co-chairs, Jennifer Lopez, Bad Bunny, Chris Hemsworth, and undeniable fashion force, Zendaya, who's been turning heads all season long. As for the guest list, well, that's notoriously kept secret, but... I'm most anticipating the trifecta, Blake Lively, Rihanna, and Zendaya. Those three, to me, are the queens of the Met Gala. They bring something super different to the table. Will Gans for Channel 7 Eyewitness News. What are you wearing? I don't have my jammies on. Why don't I get the invite? <laughs> I'm just trying to talk about it every year, but like... Talk to Kimberly. She's going to be covering it. Uh, let me... Talk to Kim. I'm trying to go in. I'm trying to hang out with J-Lo and Bad Bunny. I don't know. <laughs> Keep them off the list. You know what's good for you. All right, just kidding. <laughs> Still to come on Eyewitness News. Mother's Day, just a week away. Yes. Danny has the perfect Mother's Day deals. Yes, but uh, here's Good Morning America's Gio Benitez with a major announcement yes. about tomorrow morning's show. Hey guys, so good to see you. Coming up on GMA tomorrow morning, I really, really hope that you watch because I'm going to be here in New York doing something very special, quite literally stepping out of my comfort zone here. I'm going to be at the top of the Empire State Building, 103 stories high. I can't exactly tell you what I'm going to be doing, but I can tell you that it's historic. It's never been done before on live national TV, and you're going to see it right here on Channel 7. So I, I hope you go ahead and join us. Tune in. Uh, it all starts at 7 a.m. Monday morning. Let's hope that the weather stays clear because uh, that's what I'm hoping for. And I know it's going to be a little bit of a rainy Sunday, so let's hope it clears out early. So Monday morning, GMA, 7 a.m., please don't miss it. I'll see you then. Good morning, everyone. Coming up later on Up Close this morning, can you legislate stopping hate? Or do you need to change people in order to do that? This morning, a Republican congressman and a Democratic congressman proposing and then passing legislation to crack down on anti-Semitism. Mike Lawler from New York and Josh Gottheimer from New Jersey, a bipartisan duo in Congress making the case for their new law. And New York Schools Chancellor David Banks with his new plan to try to stop the hate in city schools. Fighting for noble goals on this edition of Up Close, coming up at 11, and I hope you join us.